Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking all about Marlena Dietrich and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura, this is a channel where I talk about all things vintage fashion and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, don't forget to follow my new Instagram account, Dally is in the Attic. Please feel free to send me a message anytime and I also link that below. All right, let's jump right in and talk all about Marlena Dietrich's beauty products that you can still buy today. Marlena Dietrich is a German and American actress and singer. She was born on December 1901 and passed away on May 6, 1902. Throughout her long career, which spanned from the 1910s all the way to the 1980s, she continually reinvented herself. In 1920s Berlin, Dietrich acted on the stage and in silent films. Her performance as Lola Lola in Blue Angel 1930 brought her international acclaim and a contract with Paramount Pictures. She successfully traded on her glamorous persona and exotic looks and became one of the highest paid actresses of the golden age of Hollywood. So it was very interesting researching Marlena. Um, I actually looked, found some items at auction that she owned and then I was looking to see if those some of those items were also available on eBay and I randomly found this Cody Sleigh Bells Compact. So Marlena owned this exact same Cody Compact. It's a really interesting compact because it is from the early 1940s and it's a gold tone brass compact. It features six sleigh bells attached across the top scalloped edge and then it opens up to a mirror compact with a press powder as well as a blush. So the powder is gone on mine and it looks like hers was also missing but it has the blush still intact. So this is one of the last metal compacts made by Cody. When I bought this on eBay I didn't realize that it was from the 1940s so I'm really impressed by the condition and it is from the 1940s because during the war there were metal rations so Cody stopped making metal compacts. And Marlena's version of this compact, which is the same one as that I own, was sold at auction for 2,289 US. I believe I got this one on eBay for under 50 US dollars and it's in excellent condition. And I was actually shocked that I happened to find this one on eBay because I just kind of put in the name and Cody and I was like, it's a long shot. But there's only one on there and I happened to buy it, so I'm really impressed at how old this was and how I was able to pick it up for such a reasonable price. Marlena Dietrich was also known for wearing Guerlain, Vol de Nuit. She loved Guerlain. A lot of old Hollywood movie stars also wore Guerlain. And I'm going to smell this one for the first time right now and let you know. This one actually smells... It's one of my favorite ones. It has a bit of a spicy note to it. So let's go over the notes and when this perfume was made. So this perfume is from 1933. So Vol de Nuit is dedicated to adventurous women who have a passion for risk taking and knew how to claim their place in a man's world without losing their femininity. So this kind of represents Marlena in my opinion and the smell I don't know, it's very interesting. So it has daffodil, violet, carnation, jasmine, and rose. To me, it also has kind of a spicy undertone to it. It's quite nice. It's actually one of my favorite ones. Um, I can kind of see how she would like wearing this. It kind of has like a bit of a masculine edge to it. It's kind of unisex, but it also is very feminine. So it'll be interesting to see how it settles. Marlena was known for many beauty extremes. She famously removed her back molars to kind of hollow out her cheeks and give her higher cheekbones. She would also pull her hairline back with thread to the point of bleeding to give herself a facelift. Another one of her hacks were with her manicure. So she, this was a very popular manicure style in the 1920s and 30s and she left half moons on her nails so as they would grow out it was less noticeable and this was a way of spacing out nail appointments. I also found some vintage advertisements for Lux Soap and it looks like she was a spokesperson for Lux Soap as well as many other old Hollywood movie stars and Lux Soap is a very old company it's from 1899 
Um, it was founded by the Lever Brothers. It's a luxury soap and it came into the United States around 1925 and they used a lot of their marketing as the soap that the movie stars use. So I'm not sure if she actually used the soap, but there probably is a good chance. And I quite like it and you can still buy it online. So I thought that was interesting to find old ads of that. It also looks like she was the spokesperson for Woodbury Cold Cream. And I happened to find a vintage bottle of Woodbury Beauty Cream online. Um, it looks like a similar one that she had in the photos of the vintage advertisement. Woodbury is no longer around, but it was interesting to find a vintage bottle. So the Woodbury Soap Company is an American manufacturer of personal care products such as cold cream and facial cream, facial powder, aftershave talc, and ear swabs. It was founded in Albany, New York in 1870. And the company was sponsored to popular radio, radio programs in the 1930s and 40s. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And what is your favorite Marlena movie? Alright, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!